Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be making a hydrogen flashback arrestor. I started by cutting 150mm of 22mm copper tube. You're also going to need two 22mm compression stop ends, which you can buy at your hardware store. I'm going to drill one hole on each stop end. You will see why in a moment. I'm going to be using this oxygen acetylene torch end. You can get this also at a hardware store. I'm going to cut the one side off because I'm not going to be needing that side. This will be the nozzle end where the hydrogen flame will come out from. For the other side, I'll be using Creat copper tube. This will be connected to the hydrogen generator. Now that we got them in position, I'll be using silver solder to fix them. Silver solder is an easy way to connect two different metals together. Heat both metals to cherry red, add the white flux and then add in the silver. I'm not too sure if the rod is pure silver. It's probably a mixture. I'm going to be using the stainless steel mesh. You can get this at a plumbing supplier and is used in filtration systems. You can just squeeze them into the stop ends. I'll also squeeze in some steel wool. It's preferable to use stainless steel, but I could only find mild steel. Then I tightened on the stop end. You can use any of the two stop ends. It doesn't matter which end goes on first. I then put some beach sand into the tube. Just be careful that the sand doesn't go into the threads of the compression fitting.
Once it's full, I topped it off with some more steel wool. Then I hammered it to compress the sand. This will make sure that there are no air gaps. Then I ended off by topping up with more steel wool and then tightened the other side. And now we're ready to test. Flashback arresters are used for highly flammable gases, preventing ignition from returning to the tank and blowing it up. To produce the hydrogen, I made a hydrogen and oxygen generator, which you can see how to make in a previous video. I think that it's amazing that ordinary drinking water can be turned into a usable fuel. A hydrogen and oxygen flame burns at over 2000 degrees Celsius. As you can see it burns easily through this aluminium can. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.